Hi everybody. Today I want to talk to you about grief. So how many of you have gone through the grief cycle over and over and over during this difficult season, right? I think we all have done that and we learn a lot about grief, don't we, during this time. And so I want to touch on that today and I want to touch on what I call a grief letter. And so we're going to dive into that today. But first, I just want to welcome anyone who's new here. Just welcome to my channel. My name is Sally Harris, and I am a mom um, who walked a difficult road with her own daughter for over 10 years. And while her life was going out of control, mine did the same. And, you know, it does not have to be that way. And so now I have the honor. I get to work with moms in different types of settings, and I get to work with moms, help them find their own life, get their own life back and find their own place in life again. So I want to talk to you about this grief letter. This is something that I share with my clients and I wanted to touch on it for everyone today because I think it's really important and I've gotten a lot of good feedback over the years with this. Um, I actually had someone um, suggest this to me. It was actually a client a couple years back. Um, she had received this from someone and um, had used it. And so, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so basically what you do is you buy a notebook and what you're going to do is at the top of each page or, you know, every couple pages, you're going to put a header in the header is, you know, different statements or questions that you're going to write at the top. For example, the first one is my best memory of you is fill in the blank. So you'd write my best memory of you is on the top and then you as a mom get to write fill in the blanks you get to fill out that page as much or as little as you want. And you're gonna do this um, for yourself. This is not something that you share with anyone else. This is something just for you. Um, and you know, what a lot of people do with it afterwards is, you know, they can, you know, sometimes you they pretend like that person is sitting there and they use that emotion that, that they feel while writing it and reading it. And, you know, kind of share that with the person who's not physically there, but you know, they're having that that um, interaction. Or you can burn it, or you can keep it, or you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple other ones um, if you wanna jot these down. Um, but my best memory of you is, right? Um, the another one is what I'm happy to say goodbye to is, fill in the blank, right? So these go from, you know, good memories to bad memories to, and that's why it's called a grief letter. It's taking you through the different stages of grief and I would not recommend that you do this all in one day. I would recommend maybe writing out, you know, writing out some uh, some headings. Um, and I'm going to give you a few more here. But you also can make up your own. You also can make up your own headings and fill in the blank. And again, don't do it all in one setting, but do it as you feel or you have time or make some time for it. Um, another one is I wish I could have told you. Or I'm so angry that you fill in the blank right? So you're getting all these different emotions, the different stages of, of grief, you're getting all of these out. And so it's very healthy um, for you. And again, for your eyes only, if that's what you choose. Um, another one is sometimes I think about fill in the blank. So these are, these are good. And like I said, there is no, there's no right or wrong on what your headings are, you can make up your own, um, whatever things that you want to get out, and that's a great journaling technique. And so I wanted to share that with you today. I hope you found some um, help in that. And if you do it, if you do a grief letter, um, I'd love to hear about it. I would love to hear some feedback and what you thought about it and how it helped you. So for those of you that I've never chatted with before, if you are interested in a discovery call to have a 30 minute conversation uh, with me to fill me in on what's going on in your child's life, but more importantly in your life and how things are how things are being, you know, affecting your own personal life, because that's where I come in. So um, would love to, to talk with you. So um, you can click the link below the discovery call link and you can set up a time and we can chat. All right. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks.